States are stepping up to voice the church's support for a humanitarian response to immigration crisis along the border and to lend a hand to the tens of thousands of Central American youth who crossed the border illegally. At a press conference on Friday in Massachusetts, Cardinal Sean O'Malley backed Governor Deval Patrick's announcement that the state would make facilities available to potentially house up to 1,000 immigrant children while they wait to be processed by immigration authorities. O'Malley reiterated Pope Francis' message that the unaccompanied children must be welcomed and protected. O'Malley committed the Archdiocese of Boston social service agencies to assist in the federal effort. The Archdiocese of Chicago and Pittsburgh Bishop David Zubik have also offered See, to My help. name is Sister Norma Pimentel. I am Executive Director of Catholic Charities. What we are doing here is simply a response of the community, uh, everyone in the community that chose to respond to that in a humanitarian care way to families, women and children, all women and children that the bus, that the, that the immigration was dropping off at the bus station so they can continue their journey. But these people were in very poor condition. They were really uh, dirty and they were not, they were hungry, but they were, and the kids were dehydrating. And so they, we decided that we needed to open a location close to the bus station for all this effort of donations and volunteers to help these folks could be centralized. And this is what happened in Paris, at this parish. This priest from this parish was so gracious and saying, use, use my parish. Oh, I don't know that he realized what he was saying yes to, right? But uh, in any case, we've been very careful and concerned to make sure that the parish needs are met as well as the needs for the, the people that we're helping. Everybody has reached out and helped. You know, I think the message of humanitarian care is, is very evident and clear that everyone heard, including the government officials from the city, from the, from the county, have all united into making this a response to, to do it as best as we can in a, in a way that works for everybody. We have constant many volunteers coming in and donations coming in. And, and the volunteers actually take the family, welcome them, take them to get themselves cleaned up. They, sh they take a shower, they get a new pair of uh, clothes, they dump the, the dirty clothes in, in, a, in the trash, they get an opportunity to go see a doctor. They, there's so many doctors that have volunteered that around the clock. They're, they're doctors, nurses, f f um, I don't know, everybody said, I want to help. So there's a schedule for them to be able to help in whatever way they need. I think these people ha are getting the message clearly in that we are giving back to them their own selves of dignity that they deserve as, as a person that they are. And the people here in the community care about them in that respect. They're people and we acknowledge that. We cannot forget the fact that they are people. We're helping approximately a little, very close to 200 families. 200 people, not the families. And maybe a little less, but it's okay. There are lots of volunteers. Sometimes we have up to 50 volunteers. You know, uh, different times of the day, we have different amounts, but a uh, great number of volunteers. The majority of them don't spend not even a, a, a night. They spend a couple of hours. Uh, we just uh, welcome them take care of them and shuttle them back to the bus station. Uh, a few of them from 15 to maybe the maximum 50 have stayed here a couple hours more because their bus ticket doesn't leave until 5 in the morning or 8 in the morning. So they stay those extra hours just to rest. We have a, show, we have a tent with, with cards set up so that those people that are that catching the bus at 5 or 8 in the morning can uh, stay there for a couple of hours and, and then we, we take them to the bus station.
How can I help? How can I help? Fill it up. Just do it. Don't drop the ball. Make this happen. Just fill it up. <laughs>